Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. I know you guys love Stas Pro Baseball. It seems to be a popular one on my channel, and so I now I have another Status Pro game for you. And today it's going to be the night the 2019 Indians at the 2019 Red Sox. And this is, of course, going to be a very controversial game because we are going to call the Indians the Indians, which they are. And the pitcher for the Indians is going to be Trevor Bauer, who may have seen his last um, game as a professional pitcher. So Trevor Bauer, uh, his, um, his in control is uh, two to seven, and he has a, a starting rating of 15 starting reduction rating of 15. Chris Stale, Sale, not stale, although he is stale now in real life, uh, has the same. He's a 2-7 to seven and he is a 14 SR um, rating. The Red Sox in 2019 were um, 84 and 78 and finished in third place in the AL East and the Indians were 93 and 69 and finished in second place in the central so with that we're going to get on with it um the lineup for the indians is going to be kipnis at second lindor at shortstop uh jose ramirez at third carlos santana at first base orlando mercado in center jake bowers at dh uh perez at catcher Tyler Naquin in right, and Carlos Gonzalez in left, with, of course, Bauer pitching. And um, with that, we'll roll the bones. And that is an 8 and a 12. So 8 is going to be Kipnis is in charge, and he gets a 12, which is a uh, single to left field. So Kipnis leads off with a hit, and that is going to be a hit allowed by Sale. And that brings up Francisco Lindor. And again, I do like a hybrid game of my own where I roll the dice and I have uh, certain numbers on the dice that will be CDs and, um, you know, Z ratings and things like that. Uh, and I only use the fast action cards uh, to determine the type of outs. And there is an out. So that is a 7 and a 17. So 7 is going to be on um, Chris Sale's card, and a 17 is going to be a single to center. So the Indians have two guys on uh, against Sale very quickly with Jose Ramirez, the third baseman, up. And he gets a 6 and a... 65. So 6 is going to be on sales card and a 65 is going to be in the out range. And the out is going to be um, Ramirez is a, uh, a BP. So he is going to be a uh, switch hitting power hitter. And that goes G4. And so I will look at G4. There's a possible error as well. But we've got to look at the runner on um, man on first and second and G4. And that's going to be double play grounder to second. <clears throat> steps on the base, throws to first, runner on second to third. So... Runner moves over to third. There is two down, and there is a possible error. We'll flip the card and look at the error section, and there is none. So that's going to be, I'm just going to call it a 643. I don't remember what it was as long as I got it right. And Carlos Santana is the batter. So Sale got helped out by the pitcher's best friend to double play, and that is a 9 and an 82. It's going to be on Santana's card, and 82 is an out, and we will flip the card and see what kind of an out. And uh, that uh, is all goes G3, and with a possible error. And we will take a look at that. Um, 
on the air section and there is none so he goes ground out three and the Indians despite getting off to a really good start don't score any runs now the Red Sox are up batting against Bauer and their batting lineup is going to be Brock Holt the second baseman Benintendi in left field Mookie Betts in center Xander Bogarts at short Rafael Devers at third, J.D. Martinez will be the D.H. Um, Moreland will be, Mitch Moreland will be the first baseman. Travis will be in right field and um, Christian Vasquez will be the catcher. Christian Vasquez, of course, now on the world champion Houston Astros. But I digress, Brock Holt is up and he gets a 5 and a 15. Five is going to be on um, Bauer's card, and a 15 is going to be a single to center field. So the Red Sox start off just the way the Indians did with a single. And that will bring up Benintendi. And Benintendi gets a 7 and a 41. 7 is on Bauer's card, and a 41 is going to be a walk. So that's going to be a walk. And now they've got two guys on, just like the Indians did. But they want to avoid the double play, which uh, the Indians got at this point. But Betts is up. And that is a four. It's going to be on Bowers' card, but it's a 17. And the 17 is going to be a single to right field, which will load the bases. I'm not going to I'm not even going to entertain sending them an extra base especially since they have no outs. They don't want to uh, run into any outs and I have to catch up here with Bauer. And that brings up Xander Bogarts. The shortstop for the Red Sox. And that is going to be a four. It's going to be on Bauer's card, but it's a 67 and that is going to be an out and we're going to refer to the out. See what kind it is. He is an RP, right-handed power hitter, and that's going to be a line-out one. So he lines out to the pitcher. Lines out to the pitcher, and Devers is up. With the bases still loaded, but this time with only one out. With, well, with one out instead of none out. And that's going to be a 12, and that is going to be a, a BD. And so we are going to... Uh, pick the card and see what the BD is. And we go to the top of the second. Both teams threatened in the uh, in this inning. And also, I have to catch up with this. Um, he is he is uh, sales lost two and he lost three. One two. Bauer lost three. And now we have. Oscar Mercado up for the Indians. And we will roll that. And that is a 6 and a 53. 6 is going to be on sales card. And a 53 is going to be a strikeout. So Mercado strikes out. That is sales first strikeout of the game. And brings up uh, Jake Bowers, the the, uh, the DH, and he gets a seven and a set a seventy-seven. So that's going to be on Sales card, and a seventy-seven is going to be in the out range. And he is an LN, and LN goes G times four with a possible. Um, Possible error. We'll pick the card for the error, and there is none. So he goes. Um, he goes four to three, and that brings up Roberto Perez, the catcher for the Indians. And I'm going to re-roll re that one, and that's an eight. And a 13. 8 is going to be on Perez's card. And a 13 is going to be a single to left field. 
So Perez comes up with a single. That is another hit given up for sale by sale, the third one, and that'll decrease him another one. Mason is up and he gets a four and a 41. Four is going to be on Chris Sale and 41 is going to be a strikeout. So Naquin strikes out and that is it for the Indians in the second. We go to the bottom of the second inning. J.D. Martinez will be the new batter. And he gets a 10 and a 75. That's going to be on his own card and 75 is an out. And he is a right-handed power hitter. And it says, all go G4 with a possible error. And uh, there is no error. So he goes G4. That's four to three. One down. And Mitch Moreland is the batter. With one down quickly for the Red Sox. And that is a nine and a 34. Nine is going to be on his own card. And 34 is going to be a home run for J.D. Martinez. Or no, for Moreland. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's going to be a strikeout. 34 is a strikeout. So if it was still Martinez, it would have been a home run. But no, it's going to be a strikeout for Moreland. And with two down quickly, that brings up Sam Travis. Sam Travis gets an 8 and a 17. 8 will be on his own card, and a 17, you got to believe, is a hit, and it's going to be a double to left field. So Sam Travis, who you wouldn't have thought would have been playing in this game, is actually um, playing in the, in the game, and gets the third hit off of Bauer. And, this, and in, in this case, it's a double man in scoring position with Christian Vazquez up, and he gets a 7 and a 61. Seven will be on Bauer's card, and a 61 is going to be an out, and we'll pick the card for the out. I'll go F4, and it's on uh, Bauer's card, so it is not even an error, possible error. So it's going to be four to three, and the Red Sox come up with nothing there, and we go to the top of the third inning. With Naquin up for the Indians. And Tyler Naquin is up, and that is a 6 and a 46, or no, a 64. 6 and a 64. Naquin against Sales, so that is going to be on Sales card, and the 64 is an out in the out range. And he is an LN, and LN is an F9. So he goes... Um, or no, that wasn't Naquin, that was Gonzalez, but it was still... Still same uh, sequence of events would have happened because he was also at LN. So um, he uh, he was an F9. He went out F9 and uh, Kipnis is up. Kipnis, the second baseman with one down here in the third. Six and a 45. Six is on Bauer's card, or on uh, Chris Sale's card, and a 45 is going to be a strikeout. So Kipnis strikes out. And for Sale, that's only his second strikeout of the game. And that brings up, uh, that brings up Lindor. Francisco Lindor, who's now on the Mets. And that is an 8 and a 33. That's going to be on his own card. And it is a 33, and that is a home run, and it really is Lindor. So that is a home run, and the Indians lead it 1 0. Sale giving up the uh, run and the earned run on the home run. And Jose Ramirez, a guy who has some power himself, with two outs. Comes up to the plate, and he gets a 7 and a 75. So 7 is going to be on sales card. 75 is in the out range. He is a, uh, a BP, and it says all go G5 with a possible error. And the error section says no. So, um, 
So yeah, that was a five to three. But the Indians do strike first. They get a run in the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third with Christian Vasquez uh, batting. And uh, also I have to take sail down for the, uh, I think, did I take him down? Quickly coming down. We've got Christian Vasquez up. He gets an eight and a 14. Eight is going to be on his own card, and it's going to be a 14, which is going to be a single to left field, and that's going to bring um, another one down for Bauer as Bauer gives up a hit. And uh, no, that's not Vasquez. Ah, God, I got to remember to flip these batters. All right, so it's still going to be a base hit, um, but it, and it's going to be a single to left field for Holt. So Holt gets the single to left field. And, uh, yeah, and I already counted it. Benintendi is up. No outs. And he gets a 9 and a 54. 9 is going to be on his own card, and 54 is going to be a strikeout. So Benintendi strikes out. Bauer with his first strikeout of the game, and that is one down. With a, with, uh, with a man aboard, and Mookie Betts is the batter. Mookie Betts gets a 5 and an 11. 5 is going to be on Bauer's card. 11 is going to be an infield single. And that is going to be... Um, that moves uh, Holt to second. And now they've got two on with one down. And, uh, and that is another hit allowed by Bauer. And the batter is Bogarts. Bogarts gets an 11, and that's going to be, I think, uh, yeah, that's going to be a CD. All right, that was the same thing as before. It was a line out to the shortstop uh, into a double play. So they, uh, the Red Sox get no runs there. We go to the top of the fourth inning. And the Indians are back at it. Back at the plate with, uh, let's make sure that this is right, and it wasn't. Carlos Santana is going to be the batter. And he gets a 7 and a 17. That is going to be on Chris Sale's card, and it is a 17, which is a single to center. So that's going to be another one. We're going to take him down one more, and I'll try to, you know, let you get a view of, of his... Uh, his pitching counter, but uh, we got uh, a man on, no outs, Mercado. Mercado gets a 4 and a 43. That's going to be on sales card, and 43 is a strikeout. So Mercado strikes out. There's one down, and that is the third strikeout for sale. Which brings up Jake Bowers. Jake Bowers gets a 9 and a 63. That's going to be on his own card. And 63 is going to be a walk. So Bowers gets a walk. Moves Santana to second. And Sale, that's his first walk of the game, but... He's allowed a lot of guys on, and in fact, he's down to six now. And Roberto Perez is the batter. And he gets an eight and a 52. Eight is um, going to be on his own card, and 52 is going to be a strikeout. So Perez strikes out, and Sale has his fourth strikeout of the game. And so far, I mean, he's only given up one run, really. And Naquin is the batter, right? Yeah. And Naquin gets a 5 and a 54. 5 is on sales card, and 54 is going to be a walk to load the bases. And Sale with only his second walk, but they were both in this inning. And now the bases are juiced for the Indians 
with Carlos Gonzalez. And he gets an 8 and a 15. That's going to be something. That's on his card. And it's a 15. And it's going to be a single to center field, which is going to score one run. Sale gives up the second run of the game. And Kipnis is up. And that is going to be a 4 and a 22. That's going to be something. It's going to be a 22. Is No, it's a strikeout. So Kipnis strikes out in a key situation. And, uh, and gives um, the fifth strikeout to Sale. But Sale give, gives up another run. And now the Indians are had 2 nothing. Although really the Indians are still, in, I mean the uh, Red Sox are still in this game. Very definitely still in this game with their offense. And the batter for the um, Red Sox will be Devers. And that is actually who it is. And that is a 4 and a 14. That's going to be on Bauer's card. But it's a 14 which is a single to center. Never seen so many base hits in a game. Well, all right. Yes, I have. But these are a lot of low rolls I'm getting. J.D. Martinez is up with a man aboard for the Red Sox and nobody out. Power hitting J.D. Martinez. And we have to decrease him one for that. And that's going to be a two. And again, I think that's a... Nope, it isn't. It's uh no, it isn't anything special. So it's a two, which is going to be on Bauer's card and a 36. And 36 is going to be a strikeout. So there's one away. A second strikeout for Bauer. And up steps Mitch Moreland. First baseman, and he gets a 9 and a 41. That is going to be on his own card, and it's going to be a 41, which is a strikeout. So Moreland strikes out, and Bauer gets his third strikeout of the game, and that brings Sam Travis to the plate. I believe he got a hit last time, didn't he? Yes, he did. He got a double, as a matter of fact. And that is a 5 and a 52. 5 is going to be on Bauer's card. And a 52 is going to be a wild pitch. And we will pick the card and refer to the wild pitch section. Um, no. So it isn't a wild pitch. And um, so we are, we're going to just uh, re-roll for Sam Travis. He gets a 6 and a 26. 6 is going to be on Bauer's card. And a 26 is going to be a strikeout. So Sam, this time Sam Travis strikes out. Bauer with his fourth strikeout. No runs come in for the Red Sox. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Sale is still out there. Kipnis is not up because he was the last out, so Lindor is up. And he gets a 6 and a 52. 6 is going to be on sales card, and a 52 is going to be a strikeout. So Lindor strikes out to lead off the fifth inning. Sale has his sixth strikeout of the game. Not surprising. Jose Ramirez is up. He gets a Five and a 61. So that's going to be on sales card. And a 61 is going to be an out. And uh, we are going to... Uh, he is a BP. So that is... Um, that's going to be a uh, F8. And it was on Ramirez's card, right? Was it? No, it was on the pitcher card. So it is an, it's just an F8. And Santana's up. And 
And Santana gets an 8, and that is going to be on his card, and it's a 36. And a 36 is going to be a strikeout. And uh, there won't, there's no possible error because it's a strikeout. So Sale gets his 7th strikeout. He limits uh, the Indians to no runs there. But they still have a 2-0 lead, the Indians do, as we go to the bottom of the 5th inning with the Red Sox batting and sending Christian Vazquez up against Trevor Bauer, who has been very good so far. That is a 5. It'll be on Bauer's card, but it's a 15. And so that, we know, is a base hit. It's going to be a single to center field. Christian Vazquez leads off. The bottom of the fifth inning for the Red Sox with a single, and that is the seventh hit allowed by Bauer. He is bending but not breaking, and Brock Holt is up. And, of course, we'll reduce him one for that. And it's a six and a 25. So it's going to be on Bauer's card, but it's a 25, and a 25 is a strikeout. So uh, that's a strikeout by Holt with Bauer getting his fifth K. One down and a man at first base and uh, Andrew Benintendi up. He gets a two and a 62. So that's going to be on Bauer's card and a 62 will be an out and so we will pick the card. He's an LN and an LN goes G6 um, with a possible error and since it's a ground ball to the shortstop we're going to look at the uh, chart with a man at first is a double play grounder shortstop second to first so that is a double play we'll check to see if there was an error though and there isn't one so it is a double play and um, that uh, results in a in the end of in end of the inning so the Red Sox get no runs in the fifth we go to the sixth inning and I believe Mercado is up and he is and uh, yeah he's up gets a six it's on sales card but it's a 27 and 27 is going to be a strikeout so Mercado gets whiffed and now all of a sudden Sale is buckling down and they need him to because the Red Sox are already down by two. They can't afford to give up any more runs with the way Bauer has been pitching. And Jake Bowers, Jake Bowers comes up and he gets a 10 and a 21. 10 is going to be on his own card and it's going to be a 21, which is a double to center field. So Bowers gets a one out double to center field. And um, he's got a walk and a double today. Sale giving up his seventh hit. Again, he's bending and he's broke a little bit, but not too badly. Uh, Roberto Perez is up. Roberto Perez gets a three and a 12. That's going to be on Sale's card, but it's a 12 and it's a single to uh, left field. The runner is going to hold. And... Um, He'll hold it third. Now they've got runners at the corners. Sale having given up his eighth hit. They're going to play for the double play. I don't like playing the infield in. I'm really not even up, really that up on the uh, um, the rules for the infield in anyway. So Naquin will be up and he gets a nine and a 58. That's going to be on his own card and 58 is going to be a strikeout and that was a key strikeout they needed that right there now there's two down and um, and Carlos Gonzalez up and he gets a six and a 78 so six is going to be on um, his card and it's going to be in the out range and he is an LN and it says all go G5 but with a possible error and error says 5 to 10. So if the third baseman is a 5 to 10, and that is the Red Sox, right? Yeah. So he is. So that is going to be uh, an error. And uh, let's see. Third base. It's a two base error. 
So, um, yeah, so the guy on first goes to third, and he goes to uh, E5, and that is an error on Devers. And that run scores. He goes to third, and he goes to second. And Jason Kipnis is the batter, and um, let's see, Sale gave up a single, and he allowed, or no, he gave up a single, a double, and an error, and a run. So a single, double, error, and a run, and he's down to two. He's almost out of the game. Kipnis is up, gets a four, and a 35, and a 35 is going to be on Sale's card, and it is a strikeout, and Kipnis has been really, really bad this game. He struck out three times and gotten a single. And, uh, but the Indians come up with another run there, and it's 3 nothing. And they're probably going to have to replace Sale next time. So when they come up. But right now, the Boston Red Sox are up. They're still da only down 3 nothing. It seems like they're getting killed here, but really they aren't. It's just the Bauer has been that good. Benintendi up. He gets a 9 and a 23. Now let's make sure that really is bet. No, it's really bets. Gets a 9 and a 23. So it's going to be on his own card and a 23, which is a double to... Uh, left field. So there you go. And that knocks Bauer down. And Xander Bogarts is the batter, the shortstop. He gets an 11. That's going to be on that card, right? Yes, it's a CD. And uh, clutch the uh, clutch batting, or wait a minute. Yeah. All right, that was a line out to the shortstop, so Bogarts is out. And that brings up Devers. Devers gets a three. It's going to be on Bauer's card, and it's a 22. And a 22 is going to be a strikeout. So Devers strikes out. Bauer with his sixth strikeout. And J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez gets a 10 and a 63. It's going to be on his own card, and it's going to be 63, which is a walk. So there are two runners on. That's only the second walk for Bauer, and Mitch Moreland is the batter. And he gets a 6 and a 34. 6 is going to be... Um, on on Bauer's card, and a 34 is a strikeout. A lot of strikeouts here. In fact, Moreland has struck out all three times he's come up. Bauer has seven strikeouts. Sale has ten. I didn't know you were going to toss it quite so hard, ball thrower. But. Um, with no runs coming in for the Indians in the seventh, right? That was the seventh? Or no, that was the bottom of the sixth for the Red Sox. And so now the Indians are up, and they are going to take Sale out of the game. So Sale is only going to pitch six innings. All right, Brian Johnson is coming in for the Red Sox, and the first batter that he's going to face is going to be Lindor here in the top of the seventh inning. And he gets a 10 and a 64. That is going to be on his own card, and a 64 will be an out. He is a BP, so we'll check what that is, and that is going to be a um, F5. And uh, it was on his own card, so we will check for an error. And the error says none. So it's an F5. Foul out to the uh, 
third baseman, and Ramirez comes up. One down. And that is an 8 and an 87. 8 is going to be on his own card, and 87 is going to be an out. Um, and we will check it. And it says, I'll go F9, but it's on his card, so we'll check for the error. And there is none, so it's an F9. Two down quickly for the Indians, and Santana is up. And Santana gets an 11, which is going to be a CD. No, it won't be, so we're going to re-roll for that because there's nobody on base. And it's a 9 and a 65. 9 is going to be on his own card, and a 65 is going to be an out, and he is a BP. We will see what that is. Uh, it is a... Uh, G4 um, with a possible error, and it's a possible error anyway, um, and there is none. So he goes out four to three. No runs come in for the Indians in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's getting late for the Red Sox, who are down by the score of three nothing. And I believe Sam Travis is up. Yes, he is. Sam Travis is up. Back to zero outs. Let's, you know. Let's try to move these cards over here so you can see the out marker, maybe. Uh, that is a 7 and an 88. So it's going to be um, on uh, Bauer's card, and it's going to be an out. And he is an RN. And an RN is an F3. So Travis goes F3. Foul out to the first baseman. Vasquez is up. And he gets a 6 and a 38. 6 and a 38, that's on Bauer. 38 is going to be a walk. So, who was that, Travis? No, Vasquez. That was Vasquez, and he walks, and now Brock Holt is up. Bauer walks his third batter of the game. And uh, Brock Holt is the batter, and he gets a 5 and a 14. That's going to be on Bauer's card, but it is a single to center field. So they have two guys on with one out. And uh, we have to take two off for the walk and the single, because I had forgotten to do that. And... Uh, Andrew Benintendi is up, and he gets a 10 and a 30, 37, no, 31. 10 and a 31. It's going to be on his own card. And 31 is a home run. Benintendi just tied the game. And that's going to take one, two, three for the three runs and for the home run. And now he is almost done. Benintendi with the home run that ties the game. And, you know, we, we sit here and we think, oh, my God, that's terrible. But really, three runs in seven innings, that's not actually even bad. So Mookie Betts is up. But in a game like this, that's this close, it seems like it is. Mookie Betts is up with one down um, in the inning. And he gets a 10 and a 28. It's going to be on his own card, and it's going to be a 28. And that's going to be a triple to center field. And now he is really in trouble. And I suppose I have to bring the infield in because they would. So I'll try to figure out what happens if there's a ground ball. But anyway, Bogarts is up. And he gets a 12. And a 12 is going to be a BD. Um, okay, that was a double to right center. And that knocks in the guy from third. And now the Red Sox have the lead. 
and uh, that's going to be a run in the hit and now everything is going to be off the um, off of uh, the batter's cards so we will go get another we'll go get a reliever for Cleveland all right Devers is up and the new pitcher for Cleveland is Tyler Clippard And he gets a 5 and a 71. That's going to be on Clippard's card. And 71 will be in the out range. And he is an LP. And this says, I'll go G6 with a possible error. Um, that would be the second out. So let's just see if it's an error. 3 to 10 um, on the shortstop. If the shortstop is 3 to 10. But he isn't. So it is an out. And it does go six to three. And there's two down with JD Martinez up. And he gets a nine and a 46. That's going to be on his card. And 46 is going to be a strikeout. So Martinez strikes out. But. The Red Sox get four runs, and they take a 4-3 lead as we go to the top of the eighth inning. And Mercado up against Brian Johnson, who is on pitching for the Red Sox still. And actually did very well in the one inning that he pitched. So they'll keep him out there. And he gets a three, which is on Johnson's card, and it's a 36. And a 36 is going to be a walk. So Mercado leads off with a walk. Is that Mercado? Yeah, it is. And, uh, yeah. Jake Bowers is up with nobody out and one man on. And that's a 5 and an 82. It is going to be on Johnson's card and it will be in the out range. He is a, an LN, and it says all go F9, and it's on his card, so it's just an out with no possible ability of an error. So there's one down, one down with a man at first, and Roberto Perez up, and Roberto Perez gets a four and a 56, and that is going to be on Johnson's card, and a 56 is in the out range. He is an RP, and this says all go G2A with a possible, um, it's a, probably a possible double play. And in fact, it is a possible double play. Um, man out first, G2A. Ground out, catcher to first, runner, runner to second. So it isn't a double play, but, and we will see if there was an error. And an error four to ten, so um, uh, catcher to first is no, he's a three, so that isn't an error. And there is a runner at second with two outs, and Naquin is the batter, and he gets a three and a 67 and that's going to be in the out range on brian johnson's card i'll go g uh times six we'll check for the error and error says six to ten um so we will check for the shortstop the shortstop for the red Sox, and he is a two so he is not in that range, and so that is an out with no error. And the Indians get no runs in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And Mitch Moreland up. He gets a 10 and an 83. That's going to be in his out range on his card. And it says, I'll go F7 was on Moreland's card, so we'll check for the error. The error says none, so it's an F7. Travis is up. And Travis gets an 8 and an 87. That'll be on his... It'll be on Clifford's card, actually. 
and it is in the out range, and uh, that says I'll go G G times six, which with a possible error, and the error is one to ten, um, and the shortstop for them is uh, is probably going to be yeah that's an error, and the error is a two base error. So Travis is on by an E6. And Christian Vasquez is up. And he gets a 10 and a 23. That's going to be on his own card and 23. And it's going to be a double to uh, left field. And Vasquez is going to knock in another run. He's up at second. And uh, we take him down two and th actually three. And so um, Clippert is almost out of the game. Brock Holt is up. We're going to try to see if we can get through this inning. Nine and uh, an 18. It's on Holt's card. And an 18 is going to be a single to uh, center field, which is going to move runners to the corners with one out. And um, and bring up Ben Attempt. And that is an 11. And an 11 we know is a CD. All right, that was a line out to the outfielder. And he doubled off the run, a runner on base. So no run score. And um, we go to, well, one run does score. They did, the Red Sox did score one. And they take a 5-3 to three lead to the top of the ninth where Gonzalez will be the leadoff hitter going up against... Um, the Red Sox are going to bring in another pitcher. They're not going to let Brian Johnson pitch the ninth. They're going to bring in, bring in Brandon Workman. Workman in 2019 had a 188 earned run average. So um, Gonzalez is going to be up, and uh, that puts the, the counter back to... Well, it's at zero, so he can't afford anything. But uh, he is their best pitcher, so anything happens, we're going off the pitcher, the hitter's cards. But Gonzalez is up, and he gets an 8 and a 14. 8 is going to be on Workman's card, though, and it is a single, and so now we're going right off of the, uh, the batter's cards. But I'm going to let them, I'm going to let him keep going. And that's going to bring up Jason Kipnis. Kipnis gets a 4 and a 76. But it's going to be on his own card. It won't be on Workman's. And it's going to be an out. And we'll pick the card for the out. He is an LP. And LP goes FD9. So man on first and an FD9. I think it's a fly out. Fly out to deep right field, runner holds, okay? But OBR, A, B, or C, runner to second, all right? Um, OBR for Carlos Gonzalez is, what did they say, A, B, or C? Yeah, runner to second. So he, he moves to second, but there is one out. And now Lindor is up. And uh, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm... Lindor gets a 7 and a 31. It's going to be on his own card, and it is a 31. And 31 is a home run! Nah! And that's going to be a... Home, a two-run home run, and Lindor gives the Indians the lead. Or no, he ties it. He ties it. Yes, he ties the game. And that brings up Jose Ramirez. And that is a 7 and a 46. It's going to be on his own card, 46. And that's going to be a walk. So 
So it didn't really work out well. Workman did not work out well at all. Carlos Santana is the batter. Still only one out. Going to be on his own card, and it's a 16. And that's going to be a single to center field. Workman getting worked. And Mercado is out. They're just hoping he can get out of this inning. Nine and uh, and a 78. So it'll be on his card. It is in the out range. And a 78 is going to be a... Um, let's see. I'll go G1 with a possible error. And uh, the error is none... So, a ground out one, you, they're going to move the runners over to second and third. And Jake Bowers is the batter. With a man at, at uh, third base, um, just 90 feet away with two down. And it's a, on Jake Bowers' card, but it's a 58. And a 58 is going to be a strikeout. So, he strikes out. But the Indians get two, and they tie the game at five, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. And uh, Andrew Benintendi is going to be the batter. Um, and Clippert is out. We're going to bring in another pitcher for the Indians. And the new pitcher is going to be... Uh, Plutko, and he has an SR of 15. He was a starter reliever, although he mostly started, but they need somebody to go some, uh, some distance. That's a 7 and a, uh, and a 16. So it will be on Benintendi's card, 16, and it's going to be a single. So, no outs, man at first. Benintendi with a single here in the ninth to lead off the ninth. Mookie Betts. Betts gets a 5 and a 34. 5 is going to be on Plutko's card, but a 34 is going to be an out. And we will check the out. He is an RP, and it says all go F8, and it was on... His card, so it's just an F8. One down man at first for Xander Bogarts. And Xander Bogarts gets a 9, which is on his own card, and it's a 74, which is going to be in the out range, and we will see what kind of an out. All go F6, but there's a possible error since it was on the batter card, and it's a none, so there is no error. And uh, that was a foul out to the third baseman, and Raphael Devers is up. The third baseman, man at first, two down here in the ninth. And that's an 11, and that's our good friend the CD. That's going to be a line out to the fielder. Lead runner is doubled off, and that is it. And the Red Sox get no runs in the ninth. And with that, we're going to go to extra innings of a tie game at five. So that takes us to extra innings. And in the top of the 10th, the uh, Indians will have Roberto Perez. And he is now going to be batting against a new pitcher for the Red Sox. And the new pitcher is Travis Lakins. And Lakins is an SR-10 and an RR6. So we will start him at 6 because he is going to be a reliever. And they will start with Robert Perez. Roberto Perez. Same difference. 5 and a 28. So uh, that's going to be on Lakins' card. And a 28 is a strikeout. So Roberto Perez 
strikes out to lead off the ten the Indians tenth. And that brings up Tyler Naquin. And Naquin gets a seven and a twenty-two. That will be on Lakins as well, but that's going to be a single to lap, to uh, right field. So Naquin comes up with a single. And Carlos Gonzalez is up. He gets a 6 and a 46. That's going to be on Lakins also. And also I got to take one off of Lakins's. And a 46 will be a... And out. It's in the out range. And uh, he is an LN. And an LN gets a G4 with a possible error. Ground ball 4 with a possible error. And there was a man on first, so we got to check it anyway for a, uh, for a double play. So let's see here. Man on first, G4. Double play grounder, second shortstop to first, so we'll see if there was an error. And there was not. So Gonzalez hit into a double play. And the Indians get no runs in the 10th. And now, every time the Red Sox come up um, and they are not losing, they, they have a chance to win the game. Plutko is still in for the Indians and the leadoff batter for the Red Sox in the 10th will be Devers. Great guy to lead off, 5 and a 42. So it is going to be on Plutko's card and a 42 is going to be an out. And uh, I'll go F5, and that was on Plutko's card, so it's an F5. G J D Martinez comes up, the DH, one out, and he gets a seven and a twenty-one. Seven is going to be on his own card, and uh, twenty-one is going to be a single to uh, right field. So he gets a hit, and that will knock one off of Plutko, and really he was an RR5, so he goes down to four. And Mitch Moreland is up, and he gets a seven and a 77, and that's going to be um, on his card, and it's going to be in the out range. And uh, I'll go G4 with a, uh, that's, let's see, G4. Man on first. And uh, that's a double play grounder. Shortstop to first. And um, let's see. That was a seven. So that was on the, uh, that, that was on the batter's card. So we will check it for an error. And there is none. But it was a double play. And so the Red Sox do not get anything in the 10th. We go to the top of the 11th. And the top of the Indians order with Kipnis. And he gets a 6 and a 33. So Kipnis against Lakins. It's on Lakins' card, and it's a 33, and it is going to be a walk. So Kipnis gets aboard with a walk in the 11th to lead off the 11th. And that will knock Lakins down another one, down to four. With Francisco Lindor up, and he gets a he gets a twelve, and the twelve is going to be a BD is going to be a double to right center all runner score. So the Indians take the lead on a uh, Lindor double, and there's no out still, and Lindor up at second. Jose Ramirez gets an 8 and a 54. That will be on his card, and a 54 is going to be in the out range. 
and he is a BP and that is going to be an F2 but it was on his card so we'll check for the error and there is none so um, let's see and Santana is the batter Lindor still at uh, second base and that is a 10 and a 66 it'll be on Santana's card it is in the out range he is a BP that is a G4 with uh, the uh, asterisk for the air and uh, there is none but he goes to third and so that is a four to three and Mercado is up with two down and a man 90 feet away with the Indians already having the lead and that's going to be a two and a 31 and on Lakins' card 31 is going to be a strikeout so that is it for the Indians, but they get one in the 11th, and we go to the bottom of the 11th inning with the Red Sox needing a run. And they will be batting against, still against Plutko, who has not been used up yet and is giving them all the innings that they need him to give them. Eight and a 46. So this will be on um, Travis's, Sam Travis's card. And it is a 46 and a 46 is a strikeout so he starts off with a K Vasquez is the batter Christian Vasquez gets a 6 and a 71 that is going to be on Plutko's card and it is going to be in the out range and he is an uh, all go F6 so and that was on Plutko's card, so there's no error, and uh, he's out. That leaves it all up to Brock Holt, and I'm going to roll the dice. And that's a 12 again, except that's not, because there's nobody on, so we're going to re-roll it. Instead of a BD, we're just going to re-roll it. And that is a 9 and a 58. So it is going to be on Brock Holt's card. And a 58 is going to be a walk. So Brock Holt works his way on. Two down. He is aboard. The Indians didn't want to see this because now it gets into the good, the good batters on Boston, Boston's team. Ben Tendy is up and he gets a 6 and a 66. That is going to be on Plutko's card. It's going to be in the out range. That could be it. All go F9 and that is it. Ben Tendy flies out for the last out of the game. <coughs> and that is your final score is um, 6 to 5. Indians because the Red Sox couldn't tie it in the 11th. So in 11 innings, it's a 6-5 win for the Indians. And that'll be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.